Right now, you can use a brand new free to use feature called Highlighter. In Streamlabs OBS, Highlighter is a free video editing tool for streamers that offers an easy way to edit and create highlight videos from your live stream replays. And in this video right here, in just a few moments, in just a few clicks, I'm gonna show you how you can use this feature to make awesome content. Let's go. What is up, Wild for Games? Here to make you bigger and better with everything Streamlabs. Now, Highlighter is a free and easy to use editing tool that gives you the power within just a few clicks to make adjustments to create awesome highlights that you can directly load to your YouTube channel without leaving Streamlabs. So this way you can share it with your friends and viewers immediately when you're done streaming. Pretty awesome and powerful tool, but there's a few things we need to talk about before we dive into how to set it up and use it. When setting up your highlighter, it works in conjunction with the replay buffer. When you start streaming, the replay buffer is activated automatically. At this point, you can press your hotkey at any time and Streamlabs OBS will automatically save and store your captured clip in the highlighter tab. However, one great feature of replay buffer is you don't actually have to be streaming to capture clips. After you've gone through the setup process of Highlighter, you can also manually activate the replay buffer and Streamlabs OBS will still capture and store any replays you want to save without actually having to be live. To do this, simply click on the Start Replay Buffer next to the Go Live button. Now open Streamlabs OBS and click on the new Highlighter tab from the navigation on the left hand side. Click on configure to enable replay buffer automatically. Set the replay capture duration. You can record up to two minutes or as little as one second. Configure your hotkey settings for replay capture and remember to use your hotkey to save replays while streaming. Now comes the fun part. After you're done streaming, we can edit all those clips that are now in your highlighter tab. If you want, you can also import additional videos, such as an intro or outro to make your video look even more professional. If you don't have an intro maker, got you covered. You can use this one right up there and learn more about it. Trimming clips can be done by dragging the frame to specific start and end points. Trim your clips here to remove any unnecessary footage. Your video will show clips in the order they appear from left to right. You can simply drag and drop the clips and put them in any order you want. To give your video a little more polish, you can add transitions. Streamlabs Highlighter comes with 12 distinct transitions that will appear between clips. To see a preview of these transitions, simply click on the preview button. Just to let you know, the preview window here is low resolution. Don't worry about it. The final video that you have is gonna have better frame rate, resolution, and quality. You can add background music. Browse and upload your own music files to add them to your video. Please remember, only use music you have permission to so that way you don't get any copyright strikes or anything like that. Once you've added all the polish to your video, we can now export your video. Simply name it, select the export location and configure your settings. The nice thing about the Streamlabs highlighter tool is you don't have to leave Streamlabs. You can upload directly to YouTube. To do that, add a title, description, and privacy settings before you upload it to YouTube. Please note, if you don't have a YouTube account linked to your Streamlabs account, you'll be given the option to do so. Now, hit that publish button and you're all good to go. If you wanna see what you created, copy the URL and paste it into a browser, and now you can see your video. The highlighter tool gives you the capability to get your content out to all your fans and community real quick without any hassle, and that's what makes it powerful. You know, there's other powerful tools that are brought to you by Streamlabs, and I really recommend if you like diversifying and showing your content to social media platforms, take a look at Crossflip. It's fantastic, and if you wanna learn everything about it, you can take a look at the video I'm tossing here up on screen right now, because it's gonna help you get discovered. Until next time, Wild for Games, teaching you how to be bigger and better with everything Streamlabs. Take care, and of course, peace.